Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, it's just me. I'm going to uh, make a shower for the roof of the van. This is a little bonus content. We're gonna be doing it using these uh, ABS tubing. So that's a 10 foot piece. And then I got um, a few other pieces here. I'll lay them all out and show you what I got, what I'm working with here. So other than the 10 foot ABS plastic tube, I got all this, so I got this piece here, the water will go, you'll fill it up on top of that, in caps, a half inch to three quarter inch, this is like a hose spigot, Loctite, some pipe cleaner, some rubber cement, a hose, that, I think it was all around 60, 70 bucks. So the first order of business is I'm going to attach all my fittings, oh and this is going to be a test run. I don't know if it'll work. It's just a Schrader valve. I took off a old bike tube. First order of business is screwing a hole in my end cap for my nozzle here. So I got this half inch drill bit and I'm just going to do that right here. The hole is cut and it fits nice and perfect in here. So I've got these two flat hose washers. I'm going to put one on this end and one on the other end and I also have a brass um, piece here. It's called a lock nut. So I'm going to put one washer here, stick it in there, lock, do another washer and then that lock nut. And I'm also going to put Loctite. So I applied, I got my flat washer, I got my Loctite around that side. I also applied Loctite on this side and then I'm going to tighten it all with this uh, lock nut. I drilled my hole for my Schrader valve. Like I said I just cut this out of a bike tube and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of Loctite along that surface area and push it through and then maybe put a weight on it to hold it down in there and let it dry for a bit. So I have this small washer here to put on top when I'm done. I'm using my vise here this isn't part of the shower. I'm just using this to like push that Schrader valve in there. You can see it's really pushing that glue. So I'm just going to let this glue dry in that clamp maybe for a day or so. While I wait for my pieces to dry, I'm going to start sanding the inside of these end caps as well as the two tips. And I'm also going to cut this piece about right there and then I'll sand them and then I'm going to glue everything together and I'm also going to sand the inside of these. The next step now is to cut this so I got a hacksaw. I'm going to cut maybe about right there and I'm going to put our joiner on there and then this thing is going to go on the other side of the van so the shower will be off to the side. So I'm about to cut this right here and you'll see why. I've cut the two. I cut this much off it. So I cut about this much off my tube. I've sanded all of them. Pretty nice. Now I'm going to use my rubber cement or medium black ABS cement. And I'm just gonna use a, just gonna dip that in and I'm gonna coat, coat it all pretty good and then connect it all. After you sand, clean up all of it. I just use this little wipe because I don't need that much. So wipe all your sands off and then start the glue process. So we saw a bunch of things on the internet that said to use kayak foam, but I just figured I'd make mine out of wood. So I just traced like the half circle, jigsawed it out, cut the block, connected them together, table sawed that out because that's how my racks are. They're square. It's not the best looking. And Danny is now putting them into the paint department, getting them black. Okay, I am putting the paint or the glue on my spigot piece. The glue finally dried, so I'm gluing it with the uh, adhesive that I showed you earlier, the ABS adhesive. I'm trying to get this van done trying to get to RTR. So hopefully this will be dry in the morning and we'll be mounting it on the van. The glue has dried. 
Um, I added some rubber in here. This was just left over from the drawers. So I added that on there. I also added it on the bottom. And what these are, they're just the two two by fours. And then I cut the half circle out. I was just being cheap and didn't want to buy the kayak foam blocks. And then I used my table saw and cut my ugly block out. It's not the prettiest, but that one looks good. But it'll work. It's just ratchet strapped on there. They just literally make it look nicer. So I'm going to put these up, see what they look like, show you guys. So there's my little blocks. They actually work really good. Okay, I got my tube on. It fits pretty good, actually. Now we just gotta see if it holds. Ooh, nice, looks great. I think we're just gonna ratchet strap. I wanna shower now. I think we're just gonna ratchet strap it on there, huh? And we'll see how secure it is and then we'll fill it up. And maybe we'll test it, I don't know if it's dry enough. Okay, I used the uh, Dekine surf straps for now to hold it in place. Danny's going to give it a good wiggle. Feel tight? Yeah, it doesn't feel like a projectile. Attention. Let's put some water in it. There's water in it? No, let's put water in it. I mean, it's something. I'll perfect it though. I figured it out. I just had to let the gravity feed it because I was holding it up. I got about 20 PSI in there now. I mean, you could pro I could test more PSI, but I just glued it and I don't want to break it. But I mean, that is even just, that's not bad. Yeah. You could wash and do some dishes with that. So yeah, I need to just, let's see, 10. 20. That's really good for now, then. There's 30. I really don't think it does like that much. But yeah, we could definitely get rinsed off better than we could in our van. I'm not done yet. I got some plumber's tape. I'm gonna add some plumber's tape here. I got this elbow, this brass elbow. It's easier to screw in the hose if there's an angle to the pipe, to the spigot there. I also attached my solar panel or my cord with some Gorilla Glue. And then you can see I did some cord management there. Just a few little wire holders. So I did, I did that, so we're just about done. I'll add this and then I'll show you how much easier the hose goes in. So I'm building one more little support here and I'm gonna hold it on the roof with my lap sealant. So here's the piece I put on. Of course, when I put it on, it starts raining. But I just used some black caulk. I'm not the caulking master. So I just added that. It, actually holds it up a lot nicer there was quite a bit of sag earlier but it looks pretty good i figure while i'm showing you the shower setup i'll show you just what i got on the other side and what i'm putting in the middle this is my uh tool roof box and i got my solar panel on top of it you can see here it's 150 watt mono flexible solar panel and it was really easy i just did uh six holes because it has these uh riveted deals in it and here on the inside i added just some fairly large washers and some bolts all six of them and then back out here i just added some of these little cord holders and then gorilla tape and then there's the shower 
and then I'll add on the middle piece. So I just found this. So this is gonna be my pad for my board. And I'm just gonna cut this to size and put this in the middle of the rack. <laughs> All right, so I got my noodles on here. I got my strapped down bar. And now I'm gonna throw the board on there. All right, so there you have it. Now we got a board on there. Just using the Dekine straps. And I got my shower all wrapped up. See it, I even put my hose on. Just kind of double checked. So there you go, that's my Vanigan's roof. Hope that was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll be back with more helpful van tips.